tell us a little bit about the planets that you imaged then. Great. Well, I've been working with uh, an international team of astronomers to search for uh, planets like uh, Jupiter in our own solar system. And we've had a, a really exciting discovery of a system with three Jovian planets. So these are planets that are more massive than Jupiter in our own solar system. They're about seven to ten times more massive. And they're located at distances from the star that range from between where Uranus and Neptune are in our system out to beyond Pluto. Um, and how difficult is it to image these planets? Oh, this has been a real challenge and something that astronomers have been working towards for years. And it's been really exciting to finally have a chance to image these planets. And the, the key uh, difficulty is that the ratio and brightness between the star and the planet is uh, very severe. And so that's part of what makes it so difficult to make these images. And then the second difficulty is that the star and the planet are quite close together. So it's a very small angle on the sky. Um, is this the tip of the iceberg of, of uh, direct images of planets? Can we expect dozens, maybe hundreds more in you know, the next decade or so? Oh, well, we're very much working towards understanding that uh, population of planets, of directly imaged uh, systems. And there are current several ongoing surveys. Uh, I'm involved in one, and there are teams all over the world searching for these types of systems. And the, the good news that we're looking forward to is that there are several upcoming instruments that will have even greater sensitivity to these types of planets. And so we're really looking forward on a few year time scale of hopefully discovering many more systems like this. Is it possible to image Earth-like planets? Not just yet, but again, that's something that astronomers are very much working towards. And so there's a, a mission that launched uh, recently that will be looking for transits of Earth-like planets, a Kepler mission. And then in the future, it will be possible, hopefully, to, uh, in fact, image planets like that as well. Um, is, is the difficulty just um, the contrast between the, the star and the planet in, in terms of imaging Earth-like Again, planets? Again, that would be even more severe than the case of, uh, of a Jovian planet and the star. An Earth-like planet and the star will be even more difficult, but something that, hopefully, technology will catch up with. Uh, uh, will things like the ex extremely large telescope that uh, ESA will building in, in, in Chile will Will that be able to directly image Earth-like planets? Or, or, or? Oh, well, there are certainly dedicated cameras that will be designed to do just that. Right. So we'll, uh, we'll be working towards that. The ELT has a time scale more like uh, 2018 or so, and so uh, there'll be uh, cameras that are even more sophisticated than what we have now.